Welcome to the Friday Variety Show Christmas Edition. Tonight we have Archie's Comics, the 1930s radio show. We hope you enjoy this on this very merry Christmas night. Time for another chapter in the life of Archie Andrews. We invite you now to join Archie and his pals, Jughead, Veronica, and Betty in another comic adventure from Riverdale. Today's episode will begin in just a few moments. weekly visit to Riverdale. It's Saturday afternoon as we look in on the Andrews home and at the moment we find Mr. Andrews alone in the living room sitting in his favorite armchair reading the newspaper. <laughs> Had to be more manly. Have you asked someone to pass the cake to him? <laughs> he replied, oh mommy, what does manners get you? <laughs> Every time Daddy gets polite on the train or bus, it costs him his seat. <laughs> Fred? Yes, dear. Telephone ringing. I hear it. We'll answer it. Well, Mary, I'm reading my... Fred! Yes, dear, I'll answer it. Hello? Hello, Mr. Andrews? Uh, yes? This is Veronica. Is Archie home? Oh, hello, Veronica. Yes, Archie's home. Do you want to talk to him? No, I don't. All right, I'll call him. I'm... You don't. That's right. I'd rather you just give him the message for me. Oh, uh, of course, Veronica. What is it? Well, aren't you supposed to post to come this afternoon at 3 o'clock? Yes. But ask him to make it 4 o'clock instead. 4 o'clock instead. I'm going down to Stacy's department store to do some Christmas shopping this afternoon. This is about the last chance I'll have. All right, Veronica. I'll tell them. Thank you, Mr. Andrews. Oh, but don't tell them I'm going shopping. You see, it's for his present. Just tell them the part about the changes in time from 3 to 4. All right, Veronica, I'll tell him. Thanks ever so much, Mr. Andrews. Bye. Bye. 
by George, it's a good thing Veronica called. I'd forgotten all about Christmas shopping, and I still don't have anything for Mary or Archie. I'd better get my hat and get down to Stacy's right now. This is the last chance I'll have. No, fine. Fred? Yes, dear. Doorbell's ringing. I hear it, dear. I hear it. Oh, all right, dear. All right, dear. All right. I never have a chance to. No, oh, good grief, Jughead. Who would you expect? Jersey Joe Walcott? <laughs> no, Jughead, and I don't want to fight with you either. I'm in a hurry, I. Right? Oh, gee. Hi, Jug. What are you doing here? Oh, hi, RG. I came over to see what you're doing. Well, I was just... No, Archie. Veronica just called. Gee whiz, she did? Yes, Archie, she did. And she said... Gee, I never heard the phone ring. Well, it rang and Veronica said... Well, why didn't you tell me? Archie. Yes, Dad. Do you care to hear what Veronica said or not? Well, sure, Dad, sure. Then be quiet and I'll tell you. Okay, Dad, okay. She said to, um, to, uh, oh, yeah. She said to change your appointment with her from 3 o'clock to 4 o'clock. From 3 to 4? Yes, an hour later. Gee whiz, I wonder why. Well, she had some things to attend to and, um, I'm going out. I'll see you later. Yeah. Okay, Dad. Goodbye. Bye, Mr. Andrews. Gee whiz, that's great. Huh? Now that Veronica's made our date an hour later, I have time to get my Christmas shopping done. But I... This is practically the last chance I'll have. But I... It's a good thing I thought of it. But I... I haven't thought of a thing for anyone yet. Including me? Including you. Archie, it's time you did your Christmas shopping. That's right, Dad. Come on, we'll go right down to Stacy's. Well, what are you going to get me? Huh? Jug, you'll just have to. Fred? Telephone's ringing. Fred? Fred? Fred, can't you answer when I call? I think that will... That's funny. Sure. Oh, for pity's sake. Hello? Hello, Fred. Andrews. This is Betty. Oh, hello, dear. How are you? Fine, thanks. Miss Andrews, uh, is Archie home? Yes, dear. I think he's upstairs. Oh, Archie! Archie! Hmm, that's funny. He must have gone out, too. I wish people tell me when they go out. Hello, Betty? Yes, Miss Andrews? Archie doesn't seem to be home, dear. Oh, he isn't? No, dear and Betty. I hate to cut you short, but I have to run out. I'm just leaving to do my Christmas shopping. Oh, golly. I'm glad you mentioned that, Miss Andrews. I haven't done my shopping yet, either. Oh, you haven't? Well, would you like to go with me, dear? Oh, I'd love to, Miss Andrews. All right, I'll pick you right away. I'll pick you up right away, and we'll go down to Stacy's. Ring, ring, ring. Gee whiz, Archie, I never saw such crowds. Yes, Jughead, but when we got in that elevator and everyone started pushing, 
Did you have to push back? Listen, Archie, in that crowd, even a sardine would have pushed back. Well, never mind. We're here now, and the first thing I want to buy is a compact Veronica. I wonder where the cosmetic department is. Cosmetic department? Yeah. Gee whiz, Archie. Let's go up to the toy department first. Jug, I told you we'll go to the toy department later. Now, come on. I'll ask that floor walker where the cosmetic department is. Gee whiz, okay. Oh, mister. Yes, yes? Could you tell me where the cosmetic department is, please? Yes, counter seven. Thank you. Come on, Jug. Where is it? Counter seven. Where is that? Gee, I don't know. Oh, mister? Yes? Where is counter seven? On the north side of counter six. Oh, thank you. I'll just... Ah, mister? Well, what now? Which way is north? Oh, my lands. Sonny, you see the boys' clothing department right there? Yes. Well, go right down to the aisle where the dummies are and turn right. Oh, okay, mister. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. Yes, madam. Can I help you? Where do you say it is, Archie? Right down at that next aisle, Jug. Come on. Okay, okay. And boy, he's sure not a friendly floor walker. Maybe his wife beats him. I wouldn't be surprised. I... Oh, what was that? You bumped into that dummy. Oh, gee whiz. I knocked the hat off. For a minute, I thought that dummy was a real person. <laughs> Wait a second. Jug, while I put this hat back on. Okay. If that floor walker ever saw me fooling around with this dummy, he'd probably throw us out of the store or something. I... Gee whiz. What's the matter? There's Veronica. Veronica? Oh, gee whiz. I don't want her to see me here. She's coming right towards us. Oh, boy. Jug, I'm going to be a dummy. Huh? I'm going to climb up on this platform with the rest of these dummies and I I I'll wear this hat? Archie, you can't do that. Oh, Jug, don't, don't argue. Don't argue. Here, how do I look? You're the most natural looking dummy I ever saw. Don't be funny, Jug. And put that price tag on me quick. Okay, here. Attaboy. Now, remember, don't give me away no matter what happens. Well, okay, a butt. Why, Jughead? Oh, hi, Veronica. What are y'all doing here? Oh, just a little shopping. Oh, I am too. Thank goodness I had most of it done. Oh, that's good. Oh, I think I stopped to get us my gift for Archie. Archie? Yeah, uh, I don't know what to get him. He's such a problem. <laughs> yeah, sure he is. I can't get him a book or anything because he's not the intelligent type. <laughs> I can't get him a baseball club or anything because he's not much of an athlete. <laughs> Can't get him a tire or anything because he doesn't know anything about stuff. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, sometimes I think Archie is an awful dummy. <coughs> but but then again, with prices being what they are, there's not much you can get for a dollar. <coughs> did, did you say something, Jughead? Me? Not, not a word, Veronica. Not a word. Oh. Well, I'm going to go get some more shopping in. Would you like to come along? Oh, I... Uh... No, Veronica, I, I can't. I'm meeting someone here in a minute. Oh, well, I want to log them. Bye now, Jughead. Bye, Veronica. Bye. Okay, dummy, you can relax now. A fine thing, a fine thing. Jughead, help me down off this platform. I... She whiz, not now. Huh? Here comes the floor walker. Oh, boy, I better be a dummy some more. Yes, right now. Why certainly not? You can return it at any time. Yes, ma'am. Oh, me. Never have I seen such a rush. Never in all my... Land sakes! Who put that dummy there? Oh, boy. If that isn't the silliest looking dummy I've ever seen, I don't know why that stockroom can send one that looks at least half alive. I have never seen one with such an inspit... It's been an expression in such ridiculous posture. I, Mister. Yes. I'm. I'm not a. I'm not really a dummy. That makes absolutely no difference. There still shouldn't. 
Oh, good heavens! You're alive? Uh-huh. Oh, for pity's sakes, young man, come down off there. Yes, sir. Well, just what were you doing on that platform looking like a dummy? Well, that's a long story, sir. You see, I... Oh, good heavens, young man. Will you do me a favor? Yes, sir. As soon as you paid for that jacket, leave the store. Huh? I said, as soon as you finish buying that jacket... This jacket? Yes, that jacket with a price tag on it. You're buying it, aren't you? But this is my jacket. Your jacket? Hmm, do you have a shale slip? Well, no, I bought it here last year. And you haven't removed the price tag yet? Remove the pr- Oh, mister, you don't understand. Young man, I understand perfectly. The price is fourteen ninety-five, and I want it right now. Oh, but mister- Now I said- But you don't understand this is my own jacket, no fool. Jughead, tell the man this is my jacket, and- Okay? Young man, are you calling me- Oh, no, 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 sir. I was talking to my friend. What friend? Well, that's just it. He he was here a minute ago. Gee whiz, I bet he went up to the toy department. Mister, if you just come to the toy department, we can find my friend and he'll tell you that. Young man, I'm not going to the toy department or anywhere else until I have... <laughs> and 95 cents for that jacket. But that's all the money I have and I... I I just, oh, wait a minute. Beg your pardon? I know, mister, if I pay if I pay you for this jacket, you'd give me a sales slip, and then I could take it over to the exchange department and get my money back, couldn't I? Yes, if you like. Oh, well, in that case, it's all right. I haven't anything to worry about. Here's the money. Ah, uh, thank you. And here's your sales slip. Thank you. You're quite welcome. Good day, sir. Good day. Guess I fooled him. Yes, sir. It's a good thing I think fast. For a minute there, it looked like I wouldn't have any Christmas money. But now all I have to do is take this coat and, and go to the exchange counter and give them this jacket, and then I'll just... Gee whiz, if I do, I won't have any jacket left. Oh boy, how do I get into these things? Well, now, let's see. First thing I better do is get that bottle of perfume from Mary. Now, here's the perfume, perfume counter right here. Let's see now. What kind should I get? Well, they certainly have quite an assortment. Chase me, $25. Hide and seek, $32. Wallflower, no more, $40. Hmm. I never smelled anything worth that kind of money. Oh, here's another. Evening in Riverdale, $10. Well, that's a little better. <laughs> well, I think Mary likes this perfume. That's just what I'll get her. Oh, miss, uh, I'll take this bottle and... Gee whiz, Mr. Andrews? Well, Jughead, hello. What are you doing here? Oh, hello, Mr. Andrews. I'm looking for Archie. I thought you were with Archie. Well, I was, but he just... Well, I'm trying to get one of these sales girls to wait on me here, but they're all so busy. Gee whiz. Well, what's the matter? There's Mrs. Andrews. Mary? Where? Right over there. Oh, good grief. If she sees me with this bottle of perfume, she'll know what I'm getting her for Christmas. She's coming this way. Yes, I know. I see. I'll just... Stuck the bottle on my pocket. There, right in this pocket. Now she sees me. Just a moment, please. Huh? I saw that. Oh, uh, 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 oh, 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 now, mister, you don't understand. You don't understand at all. I... Oh, don't I? 
No, you. Did you or did you not just hide a bottle of perfume in your pocket? Well, yes, but... Have you paid for it? Well, no, but... Well, I don't know what you call it, but we call it shoplifting. Yes, of course. Uh, uh, shoplifting? Oh, now, wait a minute, mister. I can explain. I can explain the entire thing. Mm-hmm. I'm listening. I'm... Well, you see, I've been trying to get one of the sales girls to wait on me, and I just saw my wife over there, and I hid the bottle because I didn't want her to know what I'm getting her for Christmas. Uh-huh. Just where's your wife? Well, she was right over... over... No, God in heavens. She's gone. Yeah, I thought so. Oh, but she was right there. Doughead, tell man what we saw my wife. Oh, well, now where did he go to? Who? Jughead. He was standing right here just a second ago. I don't know where he... Huh? Do you imagine things very often? Imagine what? Do you have delusions? But I... Dizzy spells? No, but I... You see spots before your eyes? Yeah, I, I... Now, <clears throat> keep calm. Keep calm. No, not, no need to get excited. Just give me back the perfume and we'll forget the whole thing. And you can go right home and lie down. Lie down, but who wants to lie? The perfume, please? I... Yes, sir. I have it right in my... 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 Oh. Something wrong? Uh-huh. It leaked. What leaked? Perfume bottle. It leaked all over my pocket. See, it's half empty. Oh, for land shakes. Now you have to pay for it. What? That's right. I was going to forget the whole incident, but you can't return a damaged bottle to the counter. Well, I'm certainly not going to pay for a leaky bottle of perfume. Mister, if you're not satisfied with this item, you could take it to the exchange department, but it must be paid for. But? I said must. <sighs> oh, me, you win. I'll go to the exchange department, but how I get into these things, I'll never know. Which bathrobe do you like best, Betty? Um, the dark blue one, I think. I do too. Blue is Aunt Hattie's favorite color. Oh, but is it her size, Miss Andrews? Well, there's only one way to tell, Betty, and I'll have to try it on. Try it on? Uh-huh. I, I wear the same size as Aunt Hattie does, and if it fits me, it'll fit her. Oh, here, hold my coat, dear, while I step into this dressing room and put this bathrobe on. Oh, all right, Miss Andrews. Oh, just take me a second, dear. I hate to go all the trouble of buying this and sending it to Hattie and then not have it fit her. Uh-huh. And then I don't want to return it for her since she lives out of town. Oh, dear. What is it? There's no hanger in here for my dress. Oh, well, hand it to me, Miss Andrews. I'll hold it. All right, dear. Here you are. I have it. Oh, thank you, dear. I'll have this robe on in just a minute. There. Ah, how's it look, Betty? Uh, well, it looks a little bit big to me. It does? Well, I better take a look in the mirror. I... Oh, Betty, you don't have to hold my coat and dress. Just put them on the empty raft. Oh, all right, Miss Andrews. Now, let's see. Hmm. Yeah, it's a little big. Yes, it is. Uh, I'll have to ask the sales girl if she has a smaller size. You wait here, Betty. 
Oh, uh, miss, miss, do you have a... Gee whiz, Betty? Jughead, what are you doing here? Looking for Archie. Archie? Is he here? Well, I think so. We came to get we came here together, but we got separated. Oh. Well, where'd you see him last? On the dummy platform. What? Well, you see he was being a dummy. What? A dummy. You know, the kind that looks like this? Jug, what are you talking about? Excuse me, miss. I gotta move this rack. What? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Okay, Mo, get the other end there. Got it. Easy now. Right there? I got it. Put it around there. Jug, what are you trying to tell me about Archie? Betty, it's an awful long story. All I want to know is, have you seen him? No, I haven't. Then I better keep looking. You may be in trouble. What kind of trouble? I can't tell you now. I can't tell you now, Betty. See you later. Bye. But Jug, wait, Jug. Oh, golly, that Jughead. He's the strangest person. Betty, how do you like this bathrobe? Oh, that's fine, Miss Andrews, but I just... The scythe does fit me much better, doesn't it, dear? Yes, Miss Andrews, but I, I just... Betty, what happened to it? What happened to what? The rack. What rack? The rack you put my dress on. Oh, golly, I don't know. But my dress, my just wore coat on it. Oh, golly, it was here a minute ago. My dress, but Betty, what would I do? Something wrong, madame? Yes, I lost my dress. I beg, I beg your pardon? My dress, we put it down here for a minute while I tried on this bathrobe and now it's gone. The bathrobe? No, the dress. But it couldn't be. But it is, isn't it, Betty? Oh, yes, indeed, Miss Andrews. Oh. Oh, my lands, I have never seen such a day. Living dummies, men hiding from their wives, and now this woman loses her dress? But I tell you, it was right under my nose. I sure hope so. Well, uh, do something. Do something. Uh, Madame, what can I do about your dress? Find it. Now, Madame, be calm, be calm. It was probably taken by mistake, and it will be turned into the lost and found department. Well, where's that? At the other end of the floor next to the exchange department. Come on, Betty. Madame, where are you going? To the lost and found department. But, Madame, certainly not with our bathrobe. Well, certainly not without it. Come on, Betty. We'll go see if they have my dress. How these hate things happen to me, I'll never know. Archie? Yes, Jug. Now, can I tell you who I met? Yes, Jug. Well, first I ran into... Archie, what tarnation are you doing here? Gee whiz, Dad. Where'd you come from? Never mind where I came from. What... Archie, what are you doing standing here in your shirt sleeves? Well, Dad, I can explain. You see, I came over. Fred Andrews, what are you doing here? Ma Mary, what are you doing in your bathrobe? Well, it's not my bathrobe. It's... Fred Andrews, you smell. What? You positively reek of perfume. Oh. Now who? <laughs> yes, yes, I do, don't I? Well, <clears throat> you see, dear, I... Archie Andrews, what are you doing here? Veronica! Jughead, why didn't you tell me Archie was here? Well, Veronica, I was... What seems to be the trouble here? Oh, Parker. Mister, I'm trying to find out why my son is standing here in his shirt sleeves and... Well, please, there's no need to get... And I want to know why you smell of perfume. Lady, I... And what are you doing in the bathrobe? Mister, please don't. I'm trying to exchange my own coat. 
Johnny, just... So, when did you get here, Archie? Why are you all so excited? Go to the toy store. Archie, Mary, quiet, quiet. <laughs> Phew, that's better. Now listen to me, all of you. This nonsense has gone far enough, too far in fact. Yes, Mr. Yes, Andrews. Yes, dear. Yes, Dad. It certainly has. But? All afternoon, you people have made my life quite miserable for me. Quite miserable. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, if there's any reason for it, I feel entitled for an explanation. Well, mister, you know the coat, the one you thought I was buying? Yes. Well, my mother and father and Jughead and Veronica can all identify as my identify it as my old coat. Why, of course, that's Archie's coat. My goodness, yes? I know that's his coat. Oh dear, you mean it really is? Yes, and maybe you'll recall you didn't believe my wife was in the store when I hid the perfume bottle on my body. Well, yes, I... Well, this is my wife. Oh, how how do you do? I'm very sorry. And I just found out the two of your men moved an empty rack while I was talking to Jughead here. Didn't they, Jughead? Sure they did. And that was the rack that had my dress and coat on it. Well, Mr. Floorwalker, what do you say to that? Yeah, what yeah, do you, you say to that? People, please, 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 no tempers, please, no tempers, no tempers. The customers are always right at J. Alfred Stacy's. We'll make amends, we'll make amends. Hmm. Mistakes will happen, you know. Hmm. Young man, uh, since that doesn't seem to be your own coat, you may keep it, and I'll give you cash credit slip for what you paid me. Thank you. And you, sir? Yes. I'll be glad to give you another bottle of perfume. Compliments of the store. Well, that's better. And madame? Yes. I'm sure we can find your dress and coat in the lost and found department, and you may keep the bathrobe at no charge. Well, thank you. I'm here too. Doug, shut up. Well, people, uh, satisfy you? Well, yes, I think that strains everything out all right. I'm sorry there's been so much misunderstanding. That's quite all right. Quite all right. And now, folks, if everything's settled, let's stop hiding from each other and get this Christmas shopping over and done with once and for all. Yes, Mr. Yes, Andrews. Andrews. Yes, dear. Yes, Dad. All right. Now I... Oh, uh, what was that? Five o'clock. Thank heavens. Store's closing. You folks all have to come back next Monday. Come back? You mean we've got to go through all this again? Ugh. Oh, oh, my God. God. oh, my God. Oh, my God.
You've been listening to another chapter in the adventures of Archie Andrews, written by Carl Jampel, and based on the copyright characters appearing in Archie Comics magazine, Archie was played by Amanda, Jughead was played by Hunter, Mom and Dad Andrews are played by Hayden and Rebecca, Veronica and Betty are played by Rachel and Sophia. Others in today's cast were Sean, Ara, and Jenea. This program is produced and directed by Janine Lopez. Listen next Saturday when Swift and company makers of Swift Premium Franks and the Mutual Broadcasting System brings you more of the merry adventures of Archie Andrews. This is Bob Sher- This is Janea Aguayo wishing you all a very pleasant weekend. <laughs>